I'm gonna tell you the secrets to how to get subscribers on YouTube, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, the very first thing that I have for you, and if you are a regular viewer, you're going to be very familiar with this, it's to embed yourself in the communities around your niche. I'm not talking about just going on Facebook and posting links to your videos. I'm not talking about even posting your content at all. What I'm talking about is basically going into the communities that are around your niche and getting to know people. That's right, folks, people are one of the secrets behind subscribers because when you actually get to know people, not only are those people more likely to come in and subscribe to your channel, but they're also more likely to work with you via collaboration, via promotion or whatever, which is in turn going to end up bringing you more subscribers in the long run. It's the same concept as good old fashioned, real world, face-to-face -face networking. Oh my God, does that mean I have to talk to people? Just because it's on the internet does not mean that it's not effective. It's actually more effective because you can communicate with a lot more people in a lot less time, which in turn can reap some pretty cool results. You get opportunities to be on podcasts and articles on other people's YouTube channels, all types of cool stuff. And all of that stuff, one person at a time, is gonna draw in more subscribers to your channel. Numero dos is consistent uploads. It's really important these days that you are uploading consistently. You wanna be inside the viewer histories of as many people as you possibly can. Being consistent also helps your channel be more successful because when people actually land on your channel page and they're looking to see what type of content you have, they also see that you're uploading on a regular basis, which means you're worth subscribing to. And consistent uploads at the end of the day also ultimately leads to more content being on YouTube, which is more chances for discovery, more chances of your videos showing up in Google and in YouTube and getting shared and all that good stuff, which will in the long run, bring you more subscribers. Number three, your channel page also has to be subscribable. Wait, if you're a regular viewer, don't leave yet because I know I say this one all the time, but I just wanna hammer the idea home really quick and to learn how to make your channel subscribable, go check out one of my live streams because I, I hammer this one in my live streams. I'll actually put a link to one of my live streams in the comments down below. Number four, watch time is key. If you're getting people onto your videos, you want to make sure that you're pulling them through your content. You want to make sure that you're getting a decent amount of average view duration on every single person that watches your videos. The more watch time you have, of course, is going to build more authority on your channel, but more so, the reason that I'm really trying to stress this one is because if you can't keep people watching, they're not gonna subscribe. So it's really important that you learn the process and the practices to keep people watching for longer periods of time. I have some overall watch time tricks. I'll actually put a link to it right here in this card. So if you're interested in learning different things that you can do as far as increasing your overall watch time on your channel, make sure that you go and check that out. I forget what number we're on, so we're just gonna call this one the next one. But here in the next one, basically you wanna share your content everywhere that you possibly can every single time that you upload a video. YouTube puts all of those little social media icons underneath your video for a reason. Use them. Once you get to a subscriber base that you're happy with and you start getting complacent and comfortable and lazy, then you don't have to share it as much. But for now, if you're trying to get as many views as possible so that you can get more people coming into your channel so that they can subscribe, make sure that you're sharing it everywhere you possibly can. As a side note, there's also one down there for bloggers. So if you really wanna go hard on this, write a post out, embed your video, also hop on like medium.com and places like that, write posts out, embed your video and so on, rinse, repeat until you get your content out there, distribute it as much as you possibly can and you literally Really exhaust all avenues for sharing your content. Next up is to make content that people care about. We all watch videos for selfish reasons. We wanna learn something, we wanna be inspired to go do something, we wanna laugh. Fill those needs. The more that you fill those needs, the bigger connection that you're gonna have with the people that watch your videos and the more subscribers you're gonna get. Here's a power tip. If you're making content and you're presenting your channel for the people that watch your videos, your viewers will respond by subscribing to your channel. Presenting your channel for the people that watch your videos also includes making channel art that is focused on the viewer benefit instead of just putting a big logo up there or something like that. Now, in addition to this, I recently made a video about how to improve your channel to get more subscribers. I'm gonna go ahead and link to that right here. So go ahead and click on that right now so that you can go watch that video so you can learn better how you can optimize your channel for subscribers. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.